Hey guys and welcome back to new video on this channel. So this is a short tutorial video for helping the ones from you which are new to using my plugin. So it will cover the usage of short codes in my plugin. So how to use short codes to edit the title and content of posts which are automatically generated. So if you guys are new to my plugins, then this tutorial video will help you a lot. So you can find new Zomatic in the link from this video description if you haven't heard of it. I will use it to demonstrate this feature for you guys. So let me import your new news post using new Zomatic because you might know that new Zomatic will create a website and publish for your website content from different sources and news sites from around the globe. So let me set up a quick importing rule, a new campaign which will create, for example, in sports category, a new post to my site which is currently empty. Let us check it and let's run importing again. So <clears throat> by default, the plugin will generate the following structure of posts. And here it is, so the featured image a title and a small description of the post and also a read more button which will link back to the original source of the post. Okay, so now let me show you how to edit the title and content of this post. So you can use the generated post title and generated post content settings field from the settings of the rule from here and you can add text for, uh, to before the short code which will be replaced by the title of the post of the original post so you can see this is a short code which will be replaced by the title so item title you can see all the short codes which are supported in the title of the post listed here so these are all the short codes which will be supported you can also add static text text so for example news and also let's add for example the author of the article so for this let's copy the author shortcode and right here was published by and author shortcode so like this we will be able to edit the title of the posts which were generated so let's delete the old post that we imported and let's recreate it and re-import it so importing will be done now and let's refresh our site and here it is so news the word that we prepended the title with and also was published by sarah rexler so this is the author who published the original article and she is now also in our title the same can be done with the content of posts as you can see the small post description you can add also an image here if you want because the generated post content settings field supports more short codes as you can see here these are all the short codes that are supported you can add category url of the original post free image attribution if you want to replace the royalty free um, uh, you want to replace the featured image of the post with a royalty free image plain text original content description content title date sentence media this will be a image or a video depending on the source and custom html source id author link and so on so these all will be available in the plugin so we can also let's say i want to add the date of the post so yeah this is a nice thing to do so post was originally published on the date and to add a new line this is the html structure to add a new line in the post so we can save settings and delete the old post import it again and uh, let's check it now posts were originally published on this date okay so yeah this is how you can use the 
generated post content and generated post title features of the plugin and also use short codes here. Note that WordPress shortcodes are also supported. You know the uh, WordPress shortcodes which are in this format. So your WordPress shortcodes will also work here if you add them here. Okay, this was just a small parenthesis. Okay, so this is all for today. I hope this tutorial helped you and for the guys who are new to my plugins, we'll help them configure the plugins with more ease. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.